Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 494. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 494 to 501. Hey, in this trick here, we want to look at some selection tricks. Just the basics. If I uh, click here, and I have notes over here of all these keyboard shortcuts. This is called the current range. If I'm right here, if I somehow tell this cursor to go down, it'll stop there because that is contiguous data. So if I click there and use control down arrow, it jumps to the bottom of the current range. Control up arrow jumps. Now if I hold, um, click in this cell and click here, you see how the, the select, selected cell changes. But if I hold shift when I click, it highlights everything in between. Now we're going to combine those two keyboard shortcuts, control down arrow, and now I'm going to hold shift because Control down arrow jumps there, so it's as if we have this selected and then we have this. So when we hold shift, control shift down arrow, it highlights everything. Now, I've done that many times before, but I want to show you something interesting about the active cell. Uh, first off, let's just apply that trick. We have some numbers here. I'm going to hold shift and down arrow, down arrow. That highlights one cell at a time. And now watch this. See the active cell right there? I'm going to hold Control Shift and left arrow. It goes all the way to the edge, which is what I want to do because I want to format all of these numbers with number formatting. Uh, I'm going to use currency, and the keyboard shortcut for currency is Control Shift 4. Now I'm going to try that again. I'm going to see the active cell right there. I'm going to Control Down arrow. That just jumps, right? And now I'm going to Control Shift left arrow, and I'll apply the percentage format. Percentage format with one, with zero decimals showing is Control Shift 5. Now I want to show you a problem. In both cases here, we had our active cell, but watch this. If I want to highlight this whole, these first two rows down to the end here, let's just go take a look. Notice that we get to the end. That first row, there's a blank there, but there's something there. And this is a mistake I make often, oftentimes. I'm going to highlight a, A1 and hold Shift and Down Arrow. And now watch this. What, what, what happens when I Control Shift Left Arrow? The active cell determines where this is going to stop. The active cell is A1, so when I Control Shift Left Arrow, it does something disastrous. It goes all the way over uh, 256 columns, because I have .xls here. That is not what I wanted. So in this case, I would go like this and make sure the active cell is there. So now when I Control Shift Left Arrow, it only jumps one because there's a blank, but when I do it again, left arrow, it does exactly what I want. And that's a lot faster than, you know, clicking like this and dragging and dragging and dragging to get all of that blue. Control Home gets you to cell A1. I'm going to highlight these and now Control Shift Arrow Arrow and boom. Just in a second now I can go up and, you know, add my color formatting that I want to that range. So the only new thing we saw, we reviewed what current region was, uh, control shift down arrow. Uh, the only new thing we saw is that the active cell really does have an effect when you use that keyboard shortcut. Not only that, the other way you use this is if you're doing uh, auto sum, for example, or sum function. See that active cell? If I hold control shift down arrow, it works on uh, ranges for functions and ranges for formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.